everyone and welcome to my sofa which is a place I spend whenever the studio is not available for me plus it's a good lighting anyway how are you guys I hope you are doing okay in this new year a fresh start if you want to even though it sometimes still feel the same because I guess it is the same what have I been doing I have been doing a lot of small projects First of all, I tried to go to the post office very late, which was no problem because in Denmark, many post office is placed in a shopping center or just over a shop where you can buy groceries. So I tried that, but unfortunately, just a specific that shop has closed their little post office. So I couldn't send it and had to go home, but I decided to buy some snacks instead. And then I just decided to relax and have fun and enjoy the good snacks. Even though I did end up drawing anyway. <laughs> As usual, I enjoyed watching the birds outside my window. I just find them so cute and fascinating and relaxing. You know, some people can watch the water on the beach. I can look at birds as a peaceful thing going on outside my window. I also had a very sad moment in one of the mornings where I just didn't feel like doing anything at all which is normal apparently and I'm still trying to accept that it's normal to have bad days <laughs> when that is said I definitely got this sad day because I have been overworking myself because I just really want this Etsy shop to be ready and pretty but I feel better now I also started the February project where I'm going to work with self-care stickers. I also started working on my own website since I've now learned to do that through school and it was a little struggle but also a lot of fun and I'm excited to work on it further. But that was just a little wrap up of all these small projects I've been doing. So now we can continue on the studio vlogs and I will talk to you guys in the end of this video. Good morning, it's another cloudy day. I have just finished my breakfast and watched Lee's video about eco-friendly packaging. And right now I just feel even more awful <laughs> about my packaging. But the problem is that the sources, amazing sources, she has left is all from USA. So I cannot buy it. Um, unless it's going to cost me a lot of money because I have to ship it and again shipping something from far away is not good as well so I really do think I have done my best finding local sources for packaging and as eco-friendly as it can be for now I also kind of have the need to say sorry to my giveaway winners I just I just feel like your your packaging is so plain now <laughs> and I'm going to update it and do something because I believe I can make it better um, and prettier so I will do that um, but again giveaway winners I, I hope you will enjoy the products anyway even though the packaging was an experiment and you became my guinea pigs it will also help me when I finally can get down to the post office and find out what this will cost me. So I can put that into Etsy and hopefully also uh, edit the photos I took so it can look pretty. That is a skill in itself. It's so hard to make pictures look good and especially with this lighting. It's just it's pretty dark with all these clouds. So yeah it's let's see what i managed to do today oh by the way i am so proud of the website i managed to code yesterday um, i'm just excited to keep working on it but for now today the priority is to get these lovely packaging um to the post office and then make sure the pictures of the products are ready and then hopefully also get to finish my letter paper design I've started. You saw me do some very shortly, but then um, my pen to my iPad died and you haven't seen any of it since, but I've actually finished 
um, eight different designs that I am excited to introduce uh, later on. And then I can hopefully also use it for my own pen pal, which I haven't written to for so long. And I feel so ashamed. That is you, Jasmine. I apologize for not being able to send any nice letter to you, but hopefully I will get to that soon when I can print these new um, letter paper design things. I'm not sure what to call them, but you guys can maybe help me out. What do you call paper for pen pals that is decorated? Yeah, help me out if you know this word. But yeah, I will um, go try to be productive and satisfied at the same time. Okay, so I am very, very happy about the result and I'm excited to write notes on these for myself. But we have a little mystery and these turned out great. These turned out great. Then these became streaky as you may see on the camera. And then I printed just to see what if it would keep going. And then this was fine, but then this was streaky and I thought maybe the printer just needed to be cleaned a little bit. So I did a test, I cleaned it, did a test and it was fine. And then I tried to print this and again, this was fine, but this is streaky and I'm like, why? So my guess for now is that some of them it's okay to handle and some of them it does not, I don't know. My eyes itching. So now I'm just trying to give my printer a little break and then I will maybe try again tomorrow and then if it's still shriggy I will try to, I don't know, make some changes to the design. And uh, yeah, this is interesting but so far, streaks or not, I really am in love with them. And this means I can finally write to my pen pal. Quick question, um, you know, these are pretty on the front, but if you turn them around, they are white. And I don't know, would you guys find that annoying? I mean, for me, it's fine. I think then if you fold it, um, the one you are writing a letter to can be surprised when they open it. But I don't know, what, what are you guys thoughts about one side being this colorful and then the other being white.
guys, so I just came home from the therapy and it was very lovely and once more we talked about the things I struggle most, which is talking very properly to myself whenever I cannot be productive or whenever I fall into a bad pattern again. This often leads to that I need to take a break for one to three days because I've just tortured all the energy out of myself in the need to, to try to be productive all the time. That's kind of the case that happened these days and I have been pretty sad, feeling pretty sad and tired and exhausted. Um, and I often wonder why I did or what I did wrong. I have something in my eye. Oh. Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry if you can hear my boyfriend chatter in the background. He's talking with some friends out in the living room. But I sometimes try to be too productive and forget that I'm a human and um, it's good and bad. I do it because I'm passionate and I sometimes do it because I'm worried of failing, which is the bad thing, yes. But another reason why I feel very tired these days is also because I I'm doing a lot of things out of my comfort zone and you know having a big dream is is hard and it takes a lot of energy and my eye is still annoying. By going a lot out of your comfort zone you you evolve and that is good but no matter what you also need to remember to heal and that's what I've been doing. I have been a lot more relaxed and I have still done a lot um, but I have taken some breaks and watched more movies and stayed up pretty late. Another way I relax or I do as an enjoyment is collecting Ben & Jerry taste I have never tasted before. Not sponsored but I would love to be sponsored by Ben & Jerry because I love their ice cream. I know many of us has a hobby it's a good to have a hobby it is a way to relax and you know get off the normal routine you have and a lot of us i think is clicking stationery and such but i i collect ben and jerry tastes i want to try all the ben and jerry tastes that exist in this world except the ones with peanut butter peanut peanut butter in it because i don't like peanut butter sorry guys i love peanuts but I do not like the taste of peanut butter. Don't know why, but that's the fact for me. Anyway, they have made a collab with Netflix and they have made one with chips, apparently. And it sounds weird and a little bit disgusting, but I had to try it, you know. It's my hobby, it's, it's my duty to buy things like this if there is no peanut butter in it. <laughs> So I did that and I'm actually feeling very excited for tonight to tasting this Ben & Jerry. How are you guys relaxing? How are you guys taking your time off? I would love to hear them in the comment below. Maybe we can inspire each other and I could always need inspiration. Don't take for granted what you do. It might be very inspiring for some people. I also received a very, very lovely envelope, which I first thought was from a person, but then I realized it's the glassing bags I ordered. Now, I don't want to use them for every order, but I would like to offer the opportunity to get it uh, more water protected than normal. If you know you live in an area where uh, you often um, you know, experience that your products has been, um, I, I got into a complicated sentence, I don't know how to do, but if it got wet, that's what I'm trying to say here. Um, no, why I'm using this, I, I have something I need to use this, because I got actually a very, very pretty um, envelope opener. I don't know if that's the word, but that's what I'm saying now. There. Ta -da! Look at this pretty baby, and it is made for. Stop looking at my face. It is made for opening envelopes, so now I will try it. Okay, 
Let's see if this works. Should the shop side? I don't know how these type of things works. I feel like it's just tearing everything apart. Maybe I should find a tutorial how to use these. Ah, there we go. Ah, okay. Bad editing. But anyway, it was an exciting moment for me. You only have the fun you make for yourself. Ah, are we all amazed by these glassy backs? <sighs> to be honest, it's a little bit boring. Um, but anyway, I paid for them and uh, it's an extra cost when shipping. But oh, they are very cute. Is this really an A6? Oh my god, they look a little snark. Not worried. I'm really worried right now. Oh my gosh, please fit, please fit, please fit. I don't need more challenges. Oh my god, they fit exactly. Oh, I almost had a half tie right there, but they, they fit just like make for it. And hopefully they will also be good when maybe I eventually decide to outsource it and buy postcard from a manufacturer. But that's that's another goal for when future me hopefully is having a progress. So that's nice. It's a lot prettier than the thing I tried with the eco-friendly plastic made from um sugar canes i think is the word but that was the update for now please please remember to rest and heal that will make you a lot more productive than if you are drying yourself out of all energy yeah i will talk to you guys later
it is now another day with a bright sky and it's still very cold there is uh, ice outside but i think i need to take a little care of myself today and maybe go for a walk and get some sunshine in my face anyway the reason why i actually popped in was because i finally found a way to send these packages yes i still have them <laughs> I tried to go to another post office which told me that I needed to print the labels myself and buy them online um, because they couldn't do it for me. And I just wanted to show you the label I made for this thing. I mean, look at it. It's so cute and adorable and I love it. I mean, I would love all my packages to have such a cute icon, but this will also take really long if I have to do this. Of course, I. For now, I'm thinking about hopefully buying a label printer later on. Um, but again, I don't know. Taking one step at a time and now I can finally go down with these and um, send them. Now about the litter paper, it's still a mystery and I don't get it. Um, I tried to um save them as another file and again this is fine this other design is still streaky still streaky um i tried to completely change the design still streaky I, I don't know it's just those three designs it doesn't like so for now i have um these designs which are very uh warm toned so i don't know maybe it's just the the colors have here i'm trying to put it out nicely for you guys so here as you can see very warm colors and the green here is actually very tiny streaky um so maybe it's just green blue and purple it doesn't like i don't know i i'm taking a break from from this because i i don't want to try anymore for now i um, i need a break before i have the motivation to try it once more i also got the time to work on my new bullet journal pages and i decided to go just with two colors that i really like and then i just decided to focus on self-care and you know, since it is February, the month of Valentine, I thought it was a nice fit. And uh, yeah, I'm very I'm excited to see what I managed to do through this month. But I have also been very sad. Today is my last day on this kind of mini vacation. Um, not having school or anything and I have been so happy guys I I have been very 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 happy and I have done so many things that make sense for me and makes me happy so even though I really appreciate what I learned in school um, it makes me sad it's starting tomorrow <sighs> but it, it's good to know what really makes me happy and overall, uh, I think we all know it's just a little hard to get back to the routine of being responsible and all of that. So what I did yesterday was creating an illustration. I just almost dropped my glove. But here, yeah, in this sad moment that I was feeling, I designed a sad Mr. Dark because I believe even the happiest person in this world have sad days as well and I just really love him I think he's so cute and he makes me feel more okay to have sad days so I actually think I'm going to make him as a sticker um, I don't really have a theme maybe it could be for the um, self-care theme which I want to do through February um, and yeah just have this sad Mr. Dark because being sad is also self-care because whether or not we like it crying is a normal and a healing thing humans need that doesn't mean we should cry every day not at all but 
when you have the need to cry, it is a sign from your body that now you need to heal. And that is definitely what I need to do. Maybe because I know today is my last day. I say it like I'm going to die tomorrow. Luckily I'm not. I'm going to have more free days in the future. Ah, but the thought of just getting back into this hands the wheel of just doing things and have this fast and very strict routine, I do not like. I think I'm going to take these... No, I can't. They are closed today. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, I will then just take a walk in honor to get some sun in my face. Hopefully there is a lot of clouds soon out there, but first of all, I need to get some food into my body. So I will talk to you guys later. I'm used to give all I have. I'm used to get nothing back. Wherever I go. It's the same There's no excuses No one to blame Sometimes I can understand How it can be So hard to stay out of pain But with you Everything has changed Even though We both stay the same Would you call me On the midnight train Would you come over When nothing's right Would you hold Inside in the rain Or even as we're having a fight Okay, so we have now reached the end of this video. It is now Tuesday and I have been at school or online school for two days and it's hard guys. I, I normally work to around 4 p.m. and that's a lot of time taking away from me where I could do something else and all these main creative projects I want to do but Hopefully I am learning a lot of good stuff that can be to my advantage in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the audio was okay. I really want to show you guys as much of my real life as possible and that just means I cannot have pro audio all the time, at least not if I'm only using this camera and I also want to, you know, be productive and post as often as possible, which for me right now is once a week, hopefully. So I will continue trying to create other than working on school. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. But until then, I hope you guys are staying loving and caring. Please take care of yourself. It is an important priority. And otherwise, I just hope to see you guys in my next video and that you are ready for a little short dance party. <laughs>